So in today's video we are going to install the latest build of Oxygen OS in the POCO X3 Pro. So first of all just go in your settings and in these settings what you need to do is you need to go in security. Because a lot of you guys might be using pin and pattern so if you are using any one of these you need to disable these. It is a very important step do not skip this. So just disable all the security things you have enabled and then go back and then basically do the normal steps. So what you need to do is you need to just hold the power button and shut down your smartphone, the POCO X3 Pro. Now you can do this on Android 12 as well as on Android 11. I'm doing it in Android 12. That's why I need a USB OTG. Now just hold the volume up and the power button at the same time to enter into TWRP recovery. So I'm holding both of these at the same time. So this will help me to enter the TWRP recovery from where I'm going to install the ROM. As I told you, Android 12 requires an USB OTG or a USB pendrive to install the ROM, so make sure you have one of those. Now, once you have entered into TWRP, what you need to do is just wait for the test drivers to load and then you need to swipe to unlock. So, there you go. As you guys can see, now I have installed the ROM in this USB pendrive which I have and now I'm going to connect it to my smartphone. As you guys can see, I have connected it successfully. Now, what you need to do is you need to go in wipe. So first, uh, let me show you that it is recognized. As you guys can see, it is recognized and I have the ROM here right now, as you guys can see. Now you need to go in wipe. So go in wipe, advanced wipe and select three options only. Don't touch anything else. Just select Dalvik, Data, Cache. There you go. And then swipe to wipe. After that is done, you need to press the home button and then you need to tap on install. So tap on install one more time, go in USB OTG and install the ROM which you have downloaded. So I'm going to give you the link in the description, make sure you download from there only. And this is going to take time. I'm like really serious. It does take a lot of time to install this ROM, but once installed, you're going to be really happy. So yeah. Now, as you guys can see, it's installed. Ignore the errors. Don't be worried about anything. It's not going to happen anything bad. Go back, go in by. And in Vibe, go in Format Data. Type in Yes, Y-E-S-Yes. -E -S. There you go. Data is formatted. Just go back and reboot to system. Now you are officially installing the Oxygen OS build. And yes, it actually takes like around two to three minutes for booting up. It's not as fast as Pixel ROM. So make sure, don't be worried about it. It's going to boot up really soon. And yeah, it is actually one of my favorite ROMs. So if you want a full review of this ROM, make sure you comment down below. And the like him for this video is only like 30 likes. So I think all of you, all of you guys can do 30 likes to this video. And as you guys can see, I've actually speeded up the video to tell you that it actually took a really long time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you subscribe. The subscribe aim is like 4,000, but let's see. Make sure you subscribe. I just want everyone to subscribe who is watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. That's it. Hit the subscribe button. Peace out.